On the 12th of April 1918 at 3.07pm in Wildermanshaven, Germany, experienced Zeppelin Captain Lieutenant Herbert Ehrlich amongst other experienced Zeppelin captains were given orders to make their way here to England and to cause catastrophic damage upon the munitions factories. His instructions were to make his way to Sheffield. However, he ended up here, in my own town of Wigan. According to museum records, the German airship number L61 Zeppelin had been built at Frederickshafen in factory shed number 2. In length it measured 644 feet 8 inches, its diameter was 68 feet 5 inches, whilst its height was recorded at 91 feet 1 inches. It had been powered by 5 Maybach engines. It had carried a bomb load of 6,600 pounds including four bombs of £660 each over their intended target, Sheffield. On the occasion of this raid, it had been under the command of veteran flyer, Herbert Ehrlich. Captain Lieutenant Herbert Ehrlich, commanding the L61 Zeppelin, crossed the Yorkshire coast near Wivensea at 9.30pm. Shortly after which guns of the Umber garrison opened fire at the sound of the L61's engines. It then went on to cross the Umber and headed west, passing a few miles south of Doncaster in Sheffield, but had then become lost to ground observation. Due to low cloud, and whilst flying at 20,000 feet, it became impossible to hold the correct course, and Sheffield, completely blacked out, was missed. Now heading north, the Zeppelin crossed the River Mersey, near Widnes and reappeared over Bolden, Lancashire at around about 11.10pm, where it dropped 250kg HE bombs. One fell on the main road at Bold Heath, damaging a millstone and a water main, while the second exploded in a field on Abbott's Hall Farm, breaking windows in an office at Clockface Colliery, about 150 yards away. Continuing to the north, Ehrlich now must have seen the glow from the furnaces at the Wigan Coal and Iron Company, about 10 miles ahead, which he now believed was his target of Sheffield. At about 11.30pm, the Zeppelin was now in Ince on the southern edge of Wigan, and Ehrlich commenced his bombing run. A bomb was released from the Zeppelin that smashed through the roof at 12 Preston Street, setting the house on fire and destroying all the furniture. At the same time, another bomb crashed through the roof of 7 Frederick Street, just 25 yards away, but it failed to ignite. More bombs followed by the railway and smashed into a signal box 400 yards west of its station, and an HE bomb landed 200 yards west of the station, damaging a section of the track and destroying two trucks of stationary goods loaded with coal. Crossing the Leeds and Liverpool Canal, Ehrlich released four more bombs that fell around Hartley Avenue. One of the bombs destroyed three houses in Harper Street, claiming the lives of a married couple, Samuel and Jane Tomlinson. Others escaped with injuries. Ehrlich then released four more bombs to explode at the junction of three roads, Erdy Butts, Burkitt Bank and Schofield Lane. The explosion caused damage to the roads and nearby buildings, blowing in doors up to 50 yards away and smashing windows 100 yards away. Two HT bombs then fell on Cecil Street, one of these exploded in the street, causing damage to nearby properties, and the other landed behind the houses, with the explosion demolished 12 outbuildings. Two landed harmlessly on waste ground, but the blast from the other that exploded in the street killed Margaret Ashurst. The 14 other people in the house all escaped significant injury. Following the main road towards Aspel, Hurlick dropped an HE that exploded at the rear of 181 Welly, opposite the gates to Lindsay Colliery. Fragments from the bombs smashed into the house and struck Walter Harris, who was carrying his five-month-old son, Alfred, downstairs to safety. Both were tragically killed. Another exploded in the Lindsay pit yard, where it destroyed a coal truck in the sidings, and one hit a stone wall on Welly, 
just before it becomes the Wigan Road, causing some local damage and an injury to a man. Then, four HE bombs landed in a line along the brook at New Springs close to the allotments, just to the west of the Wigan Road. The blasts smashed green houses, broke doors and windows of nearby houses, caused the fire to start at a brewery and injured four people. Heading away from Wigan now, the Zeppelin L61 headed northeast and at approximately 11.40pm dropped another bomb in Little Hulton south of Bolton that fell in a field and caused no damage. The last bomb the Zeppelin dropped was again in another field in Outwood near Ratcliffe south of Bury. At approximately 1.25am it reached Hull with engine problems and it wasn't until approximately 90 minutes later that the Zeppelin left England and headed back to Germany. Upon arriving back to Germany, Ehrlich had logged that he had successfully carried out his orders of bombing Sheffield. A few years later he was to die during a surgical procedure, never knowing that indeed the orders given to him were never completed. <laughs>